What's the most paranormal thing you've experienced? My grandma's boyfriend passed away and my mom and I traveled to Florida to help her make the arrangements. My grandma had a two-bedroom condo in a gated community. So my mom took the second bedroom and I took the couch. I woke up at 4.19 a.m. and heard old-timey music. Figured my grandma was awake early and tried to go back to sleep. Then I heard shuffling down the hall. Figured my mom was going to the bathroom. But then I heard someone sigh and sit down in the leather recliner next to the couch that he always sat in. I immediately knew it was him. Later in the day we visited his kids, not related to us, and my mom kept trying to get me to tell his oldest daughter. I told my mom I didn't want to upset her. She overheard and asked me to tell her. So I explained what happened. Her eyes got all white and she looked at her husband. Apparently her husband woke up in the middle of the night. Looked straight at her and told her her father was there and that he was okay. That wasn't my first experience with the paranormal. But certainly one I could never forget. One day I was coming from my grandma's house. My sis was driving and she went through a path I'd never seen before. Nobody was there. Not a single person on site. We got home and I find out my dad's got a new haircut. Apparently. And my mom's just standing there. After that. I learn my dad's now working at the uni. I still think I'm in a parallel universe. Up to this day. Things have changed. They really have. Ayahuasca I was watching myself being attacked by demons. The whole things was very specific and terrifying. The shaman came and did something that helped. In the morning I woke up feeling very different. Then the shaman described exactly what I had seen, through a translator because we didn't have a language in common. That changed something in me. Sorry for the length. I haven't really ever told anyone this story and I guess it's kinda cathartic, smiley face. Bit of background first, my six-month-old nephew Ken, not his real name, died of SIDS when I was 11, it was the first time I'd experienced the death of a loved one and while it affected me for years. It was also the catalyst for me becoming an atheist because it basically took away my ability to believe in any kind of constructive metaphysical power. The rest of my family would often talk about how Ken had come to them in dreams or left them signs, e.g. his favorite song playing on the radio. His mum spoke to psychics who claimed they could sense his presence etc etc. What I'm saying is that they were all open to the idea that he still existed on some plane but I couldn't get any comfort from that because my reality was that he was dead and gone. Anyway. Cut to my twenties and a few other loved ones die and generally my life is in a pretty shit place for other reasons and one night on my own I was feeling utterly hopeless. I had begun self-injuring at that point. But that was my last coping mechanism I had left and tonight it wasn't making a difference. I actually really strongly considered for the first time that there might not actually be a way out of this constant misery. Then completely out of nowhere. I absolutely felt Ken's presence and the unconditional love that babies give you. It scared the fuck out of me because it was honestly a physical sensation of Sony on being in the room with me. Mental illness runs in my family and I thought now I was schizophrenic on top of everything else. I 100% knew it was Ken though. And feeling that he loved me made me think there had to be something in me worth loving. So I had to keep going till I found it because that's what would save me. To this day I have NFI what happened that night. I have never felt anything like it in the 20 or so years since then and I know I wasn't consciously thinking about him beforehand. It's entirely possible my subconscious just concocted the whole thing as a Hail Mary and that's obviously the more likely answer, but I can't shake how utterly certain I was that it was him. I didn't have to convince myself of it because he was just there. I have had other random spooky shit or weird coincidences come up through my life but that night is the only time that it genuinely felt like a supernatural thing had happened to me. I did a couple things that made me feel psychic but were really just weird. I was walking in the autumn with and past a weird corner store slash used car dealership when I noticed a group of college students walking in circles kicking around the leaves. They were obviously looking for something hidden beneath the leaves. I could hear one of the girls yelling at one of the guys saying we had better find this, or else. And things like that. On a sudden impulse I looked to my feet and saw a shiny gold ring laying in the leaves. I picked it up and casually called to the girl is this what you are looking for? Needless to say it was. Another time. I was at a house a friend was thinking about buying because the bank was selling it super cheap. The real estate agent couldn't unlock the little box that contained the key to the building. 
even though she had been trying for over 15 minutes. She decided she must have had the wrong code and went off to call her boss with her cell phone. Feeling a sudden inspiration I walked up the steps and to the box. Entering a random four-digit number. The box popped open easily and I had to explain to the real estate agent that I couldn't explain what I just did. Not necessarily paranormal but I was waiting at a stoplight about to turn left. The light turned green and normally I would just go. But for some reason I hesitated for like 5 seconds and just sat there as cars behind me honked. I looked to my left and a semi barrels through the intersection. If I would have gone I was dead. It's like my mind just blanked and something stopped me from going. Pretty creepy. Not much to say. Just questionable things. For example. This year. I set my PS4 controller down on my dresser. And as I was sitting there. Leaned back in my chair just falling asleep in the dark silence. The damn controller slid a foot across my dresser. Right next to my head. Don't know how. Or why. I just ignored it. The console was not on. I was home with my brother one night. I live in a farm. We heard the dogs barking and when I looked out the window saw what looked like a tall person wearing a hoodie walking towards my house. I thought it was my cousin and went down to greet him. When I got to the gate there was no one there but the dogs were still barking very aggressively with their backs arched like cats and it seemed like they were following something with their gaze. That was getting closer to the gate. I ran back to my house and didn't look out again that night. Also had an annoying experience when we lived in a rented flat in my grandma's house. We would lose things. Wallets. Watches. Jewelry and then days after they'll appear in the same spot. Somewhere where we logically will never leave that stuff. It didn't change my worldview that much since I've had some paranormal experiences my entire life. But it make me a little fearful slash respectful about stuff that can't be explained. Never made fun of the paranormal again. The sound of change being stacked up on my glass top desk. I didn't have a pile of change in my desk but I could hear the clink clink of dimes and quarters moving around. I was at a bar about 8 years ago. Had a pretty good buzz going. And I walked down the hallway to the restroom. And around the corner comes a little boy. He was maybe 6 or 7. He had on black pants and a white button down shirt. And he had short dark hair. Now it's 1 in the morning. And there's a little kid in the bar. He stopped when he saw me. And just looked at me. I said hey buddy. Are you here with someone? And he got this really shocked look on his face and. Vanished. Like he didn't move. He disappeared. However. As I mentioned. I'd been drinking so I just blew it off. Cut to six months later. I started bartending at that bar. I was working day shift. And when the owner came in at 4 p.m. I told him that I didn't know there was an apartment above the bar and it must suck to have to listen to the bar all night. Especially with little kids. He asked me what the hell I was talking about. I told him I'd been listening to the kids upstairs playing and laughing and running around all day. He walked me up to the second floor. It's not an apartment. It's a huge. Empty room. One night I was closing the bar at 3.30 in the morning. And I went to the bathroom before I left. I was the only one there. And the doors were locked. I hear knocking on the bathroom door and a little kid giggling. No one was there when I opened the door. That Christmas. I bought a rubber ball and a toy truck and a doll and left them upstairs in the empty room. For the next several months I would hear the ball bouncing across the wooden floor upstairs while I was working. It made me smile. They were just kids. At least they finally had some toys. My sister and I were watching TV in my room when this black sphere a little smaller than a basketball appeared right below my ceiling. We didn't yell or run away. We watched it. Very slowly it moved down until it went past the foot of my bed so we couldn't see it anymore. We looked at each other and then we jumped up and ran downstairs. Another time. Same house. My friend had slept over. In the morning we were laying in bed talking about where we wanted to get breakfast. As we're talking. A big bottle of cocoa butter that I had on my vanity mirror moved forward across the vanity about 6 inches and then shot to the floor. My friend immediately asked if we could go downstairs lol that house was built in the 1840s and we had so many experiences there. Even my stepdad did and before that he didn't really believe in that stuff. I have a ton of stories if anyone's interested. 
Friend always said he had a haunted house and adjacent woods. Said some wild stories that I never seriously thought to be true. During a sleepover he commented on seeing floating balls of light. I was the only one up when everyone went to bed. Then felt weird and looked into the dining room. I saw a floating ball of light. Which then rapidly expanded without a single sound and briefly blinded me. It expanded slower than light should have. I have no idea what it was. Some kind of phenomenon. Maybe. It mostly made me consider all the other stories he said that were much more extreme. Like weird cryptids in the forest. He never said them in a manner that seemed joking or the like. Just idle information. Didn't change much. My other paranormal experience happened when I was so young the memory is much less reliable. Although it was a lot more extreme. Thanks for watching.